Hey everybody, this is Rena with 1111 Revelation Channel. It looks like I'm having a little bit of issues there with the light. Um, but I did, the Lord just asked me to read uh, Acts 2.11. And so let me do that real quick and then we're going to go to Joel real fast. Okay, so Acts 2.11. Pratis and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues, the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said to go to Acts 2.11 and read it to you so you could hear. Okay? All you have to do if you are not saved is the Lord wants you to come to him. Just admit you're a sinner. We are all sinners in need of a Savior, and it's him. It's Jesus and believe with all your heart 100% because he knows your heart, he can see it. Okay, so confess Jesus is Lord and see, call upon his name and confess his name out loud to everybody, the whole world with childlike faith. And D is demonstrated deliverance or deliverance demonstrated either way you want to look at it. When you receive a water baptism, read John, the book of John chapter three, starting at verse three and read it all the way to chapter four. Now, Joel, I think this is a quick enough video for you guys. I do, I do, I do. I love y'all. Um, you guys are awesome and amazing. And I'm just like checking out what's going on in the house because this house is uh, anointed. And y'all need to get your houses anointed and in order. Get some olive oil and just take it around the hedges of all the windows and all the doors. And you will say a prayer. When you say this prayer, uh, you will just go ahead and ask for protection, holy protection, from the holy angels of the kingdom of heaven, good holy angels, to guard and also to protect your ceilings and walls, the hedges to the windows and the doors, so that no portals may be opened and no unauthorized, unauthorized uh, activities take place rebuke it with use olive oil and go around the hedges i know i realize you can't do the ceilings and the walls but you can pray and the lord will hear you and he will make sure your building your home is all protected and ask him to saturate the airspace and the atmosphere above you can pray against all things that are going up in up in the skies you can pray against them and it is amazing the results I have seen personally over the last five years. You guys, it is real, 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 all of it. So just remember your faith is what brings forward action in Jesus, okay? When we use our faith, our faith is increased and it grows and the lord knows exactly what level what it stage or age you're at because we're all little babies okay and if you have that childlike faith i promise you things miracles are going to take place in all areas of your life so hear my word and just sing a new love song about the lord 
and make one up tonight and he will hear you he loves you so all blessings and honor and glory and power on to our lord and savior jesus christ leave a prayer request down at the bottom in the comments hit that smash button like this video and let us get as many people as we can to the lord because the ark is getting ready to take off and we want to get as many people on the ark as possible everybody so i love all of you guys and jesus fills every man woman and child on the planet up one percent of him and he still has 99 percent left over amen he is amazing he is awesome holy and true he is the one oh. just found this piece of paper here i wonder what this is all about um i mean like come over here I'm going to do this on the next study because this is out of Isaiah 43, 6. And he is going to have me describe to you guys. Isaiah 43, 6 says, I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. And there is so much in the Strong's Concordance that you guys uh, need to know about that I have noticed in this. And... We'll talk about it on the next video and have an awesome rest of your day. Love you. Bye.